we fix this. Here. So it's a nice and bright and sunny, what, Wednesday? I don't even know the days anymore. But um, in today's video, if you saw my other video when I drove to South Carolina, it's in that corner right there. Um, I wanted to buy a Japanese Yunos Roadster. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a Miata. I wanted to buy a Japanese car that's right-hand drive, right? That didn't go through because it just had too many red flags. Um, but what I've been wanting to do since like February, this is pre-COVID, I wanted to do a big splash. So like I had big ideas for like sneaker con, but all that's canceled. I had big ideas for a pop-up shop, but no one's really coming outside. So I just been going through an emotional roller coaster, honestly, of um what to do, like what that big splash should be. And I think that I I think that what I'm going to buy today might be it. Um it's definitely as not like a hundred percent. I knew the other two things were gonna be a big splash. But um, this one, this one could be a gamble. But this one is just so sus that like just having it in my possession, and if I utilize it the right way, um, it'll definitely bring attention towards the brand and whatever's happening near it. With that being said, I'm about to drive to Patterson, New Jersey. Shout out to Fetty Wap, and then we're going to look at a couple cars. Um, I'm going to drive to two different dealerships. There's one that has the exact thing I want. Um, I just don't want to pay the price that they're asking, so we'll see how that goes. And if I buy it, I mean, I would like to utilize it July 13th ASAP for that collection, like ASAP. It's a car, by the way. So I want to get it registered, do all that ASAP. Um, but come along for the ride. Jail, is that you? Yo, you ready to buy this car? Ready to buy this car? D, yo, D, ready. Right, we just got to the showroom. We this is a Suzuki works right here. I think it's either supercharged or turbo. Does it say it? Oh no, I don't see it. But I mean, like, putting because parrots in how small this car is. Yeah, like, that's crazy. But what I'm trying to buy is one of these K trucks. So I didn't realize how small it really is, but I'm trying to buy one of these K trucks. I have one in mind that I want to buy. Um, so I'm gonna try to find that at first, and then we're gonna see where it goes from here. I'm trying to pay under five. I would like to get it for like 40 something, but um, oh yeah, see it's turbo. I knew it was turbo, these just fire. You trying to get in? Oh, it's automatic. Car I want though, Josh, let's look for it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Actually, I think it's- It's just nice and tight. Nah, nah, I said I had to. It's not a Suzuki, I said I had to. Let me put this camera down so I could find out what I'm doing. So here's the car I'm here to buy right now. This Daihatsu, Daihatsu is basically Toyota. So this is the car. The interior is pretty clean. Um, the bed is pretty trash, has a lot of rust. Um, but I would just put like that black paint. Like it doesn't look as bad as this one, but. Nah, yeah, this one feels way better. This is the one I'm trying to grab. Yeah, it's one feels better. All right, so let's go over here, see what's good. I'm not gonna lie though, this fire truck. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I'd buy this in a heartbeat. We got a Sora right here. No Lexus badge on there. Twin turbo, clean. We got this, I don't even know what this is. Also, absolutely fire. Is this the turbo diesel thing he had promoted? I think I saw this, but this shit is huge. This is a big body. I don't know how big it looks on the camera, but this is big. So my plan with these gate trucks are, actually we're getting to that later, we're getting to that later. Another cool thing about these is the whole thing becomes a flatbed. Um, but yeah, I went did the test drive with this. Um, I'm gonna see what he could do price-wise. He said he could deliver it to me, so that's a big pro. But I really want to buy this, but I don't wanna pay in the fives. Like my thing right now is that it's currently on eBay for $4,100. I feel like I can wait and get that for less than five. I don't think it's gonna go. The last car he had was $4,800, it's old. And it was better condition than this one. What I'm thinking is, if he tells me a price over five right now, um, I'll pay like 52 if it includes shipping. But if he tells me a price over five, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna tell him, you know what, I think I'm just gonna take my chances on the eBay listing. Um, if I don't buy that one, I'll just come back and buy a different truck. Because it's not like I love this one. Like, you see like how clean this back is? Um, this one is pretty rusty. So like, I don't love this truck. I love the price of the truck. So, 
If I get a good price, I'll buy it literally right now. I'll drive to Jason, see what's good. Yeah, you're looking at the new owner of this Dahatu High Jet. I agreed, I'm not gonna say the amount actually, but I agreed on a good amount delivered to the house. That's, I'm happy I have, I just bought this car. A right hand drive mini truck. I'm about to drive to Chase now, take out the money, and um, he said he's gonna have it delivered today, which is a big pro, honestly, because I was worried about that. Four months, I said like a third of a year, bro, and I haven't had a cut. Think about that. That's ridiculous. I will never go oh, through that again. Oh, come on, what are y'all doing right now? I can fit here or not? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, I'm good. You I'm good. good. That's good, yeah. No, I'm good, I'm good. Anyways, we just got back to Boyke. Here's the bread. Nice little stack. <laughs> A few stacks. Nice little stack. So I just got back. Um, he's about to load the first car because he's making a delivery to um, Long Island first and then he's going to bring me my car. So he's loading that one and then that's mine right there. Um, and the cool thing about them is I'm getting same day delivery. And I'm also getting these rims for free 99. I'm gonna be working with Boyke, so you're gonna see a lot more videos of them. Um, if you haven't already, the link's gonna be in the description. Check it out, but he's gonna throw in these 13 inch rims. The tires are shot, but it's cool just to have bigger rim. Um, it looks better than these Steelys. So I'm gonna throw these on the car soon after I buy some tires. There you have it. This is my high jet. I'm really hyped on this thing. I feel like this alone, this little OEM battery cover is definitely worth some money. But like you saw, I got the rims there, so we're gonna throw those out. We don't want those garbage. I'm gonna put 13s on, give it a little better wheel gap. Um, but yeah, I'm hype. Bought a car. Didn't know how this video was gonna go. But as you see, I'm probably gonna end it right here. It's gonna be in my house in probably an hour and a half. I'm driving home as well. And more content on the hijack coming soon because we have big plans. So, thank you for watching.